Good evening, I'm Ariel Schroeder. Thank you for joining us today on our top story. A boy is flattened by a billboard. He now travels the world by mail. Joining us in the studio, we have a special guest, Flat Stanley. Stanley, tell us what brings you here. Ah, well, you know, I, I, I come from Florida and I'm, I'm here to see all the tourist attractions that Idaho has to offer. Awesome. Well, Stanley visited Idaho for a little over a week now. Let's see what he's been up to. The day before Valentine's Day, a yellow envelope arrived in the mail. Inside was Flat Stanley. Stanley is brought to us by preschool student Ezra Schroeder Hawkman. For days, Stanley traveled by mail to make his way from Merritt Island, Florida, all the way to eastern Idaho. He knew he was no longer in Florida when he saw all the white snow. He made a snowman, snow angels, and had his very first snowball toss. Stanley visited the Idaho Falls Greenbelt. Here he learned that IF is the sister city of Tokyo, Japan. During warmer weather, many travelers from all over the world visit this location to see the falls and enjoy the scenery. Next stop, Stanley visited the East Idaho Aquarium, where he learned about the aquatic life from clownfish, sharks, to stingrays. He enjoyed the platinum alligator gar that was donated by famous comedian Tracy Morgan. Lots of fish are found in Florida, but Stanley learned about the fish that come from Idaho, like the rainbow trout, the tiger trout, and the white surgeon. Next stop on our East Idaho tour, Flat Stanley checked out the city of Rexburg, where he may have bumped into some trouble. Just kidding. Flat Stanley had the chance to do a ride along with Rexburg police officer Jordan Jensen. All right, Stanley, before we go on this ride along, you need to know a couple things. You need to wear your seatbelt, wear your helmet when you're on your bike, and always call 911 in an emergency. While at the police station, he got to meet K-9 officer Kamachi. Then he got to hop in the police car and turn on the red and blue lights. Stanley learned safety tips and how to help other people and their friends. After the ride along, Stanley got to meet Officer Jensen's friends at the fire department. He got to see the ambulance and fire trucks that sometimes show up to help people when an emergency happens. Hey Ezra and Ezra's class. You guys keep learning. Listen to your teacher, your mom and dad, and always ask for help if you need it. Well, Stanley, after seeing all the adventures you went on, what was your favorite part? Oh, kid, there were so many, and there were so many great moments during this trip. But I gotta say, I, I think this moment right now has been my favorite. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Thank you for joining us. Stanley is excited to make his trip back home to Florida, possibly tomorrow. Friends and fans of Stanley believe that Aunt cl classmate Ezra will receive extra credit for all his hard work on this project. But Flat Stanley, your adventures are not over just yet. Let's turn over to the Weather Center where Linda will help you with the weather. Linda, what are we looking at? That's right. Now, Stanley is going to help me talk to you just a little bit about what we forecast here in Idaho. Now, this is Jackson, and Jackson is a very famous place that is very close to us and is in our viewing area. As you can see, they've got an ice skating rink here. Can you point to the ice skating rink for me, Stanley? Right, right there. And this is one of their biggest well-known attractions they have definite antlers that are on this that are, they have all lit up and they have the antlers there now we have had some intense weather kind of come through and our weather patterns come from a series of storms that kind of come in and this is this is what we have right now and this is our viper radar cast now on our viper cast it shows us right there where the clouds are and then it can also show us right down here can you point to that for me Stanley right down here in Logan which is in Utah that's a little bit lower than us it shows us that there is a winter weather advisory now we definitely have some weather headed our way but for the most part our weather this next few days is going to be pretty nice we've got temperature Temperatures right now that are pretty cool. In the winter, those temperatures are fairly cool. We have temperatures 
usually below freezing most of the time. But this week we've got a kind of nice surprise. It's partly cloudy, it's dry year round here. Now over the course of the year, we see temperatures that typically vary from anywhere from about 14 degrees, clear up to about 87. It's rarely over a, about 94 degrees and usually not below minus three. But we have had some pretty scary weather. Let me show you what we had yesterday in Idaho. We had some storms come through and we had some snow that was enough that we had to completely close off of the roads. So we have some nice days ahead, however, but take a look at our wind chills tonight. It's going to be very, very cold. We've got beautiful mountains in our area and we definitely have some skiing and mountain biking in the summer. But the best time of the year to visit Idaho Falls is for the warm weather activities is from late June to about mid-August. Now, if you like to ski, the best time is from January through about March. And we definitely have our ski season going on right now. But take a look at what we've got ahead this week. Look at these temperatures. Now, for you guys in Florida, I know this doesn't sound very warm at all, but for us have 40s in the winter, it's gonna be a nice week ahead for us. Hey, thanks so much for visiting us, Stanley. Well, thank you for helping us today, Stanley. We are looking forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks for joining us.